Hello, my lovely library lions. Today, I'm going to be doing the Put a Spring in Your Step book tag. I was tagged by Tipsy Book Talks, Rayanne and Taylor, so I'll link their channel down below. I'm so happy they tagged me. This is my first ever tag video where I've actually been tagged, so it's super exciting. And I believe the Put a Spring in Your Step book tag was originally done by Book Break, so I'll link them down below as well. Question number one is how do you decorate your bookshelf? So you can see a little bit here, I haven't decorated a lot yet because I know I'm moving very shortly and I'm going to have a lot of bookshelves to decorate, so this is just a temporary setup. But I do like to have things like book tins, um, I actually have a few Funko Pops that I haven't unpacked but they will come out on my new bookshelf. I have some bookish candles that I'll be putting out, um, I have my little letter board that Owlcrate sent me with a little Six of Crows quote that I think is cute, I have a little Dementor. I can point to him on camera, it's really hard. <laughs> a little Dementor. Um, so I'll have a more decorated bookshelf in about a month or so. Right now it's very simple. I like the focus to be mostly on the books that are on my bookshelf, but I do have a few little knickknacks that I like to decorate with. I usually like to put them with the series that they're from so that they all stay together. And I'll have fun showing you that when I set up my, my new bookshelves, but for now it's fairly simple, just a few little knickknacks up on the top shelf there. Question number two is recommend a book with a beautiful nature description. So I don't really like this book that I'm going to recommend. I didn't really enjoy it, but Winterwood by Shea Earnshaw has an absolutely beautiful description of a forest. The whole book is like a character study of this beautiful haunting forest in the winter, the creatures that live within it, the mysterious hidden places inside of it, how the forest is almost alive. And I thought that was really beautiful. The problem is that it is just a book which is essentially a character study of a forest. Very little happens. None of the human characters feel like they grow or change, and I didn't feel like there was much of a plot. But if you're looking for a beautiful nature description, that's the whole book. So it's excellent for this prompt. I wouldn't read it again, but if you just want to read some really beautiful prose about a forest and descriptions of nature, that's a go-to. Question number three is show us a book with a beautiful cover. I have a lot of options here, um, but there is a specific set of books that I've been dying for a chance to show off, so give me just one second. So I have this whole set, it's the Illuminate Dust Jackets for the Court of Thorns and Roses series. This is my personal favorite because I'm a resand simp, but look at that. I love the foiling on it, I love the art. That they've done for all of it. The spines are gorgeous. This is especially important because the actual books are so ugly <laughs> that it made me really upset when I wanted to buy the newest book, A Court of Silver Flames, and I saw how ugly it was. But the artist has turned them into beautiful works of art with all this lovely metallic work on it, and I just adore these books now. I'm so glad that I caught the Illumicrate set, and I hope she'll keep doing them as the books come out because I need them all to match, and I really want to see a cover that features Azrael. Question number four is that spring is a great time for a fresh start, the perfect time to start a new series. What would I recommend? I love a lot of series, but it's hard to choose. Today I'm going to go with Legendborn. The second book isn't out yet. It looks like it's not going to be out till 2022, which breaks my heart, but Legendborn is so good. I could recommend something like Grishaverse or Cruel Prince, um, but I feel like everyone is kind of reading those and everyone knows they're great. I've seen more and more people picking up Legendborn, but if you haven't already picked it up, please pick it up. Tracy Dion has written a beautiful world filled with interesting characters. She explores race and racism in a really interesting way, and she's just an amazing writer. I read this and I couldn't believe that it was a debut novel, and I'm so excited to see what she's going to do with the second book in the trilogy. I think it's already set up to be a trilogy. So if you haven't read Legendborn, start right now. You can get on before the second book is even has a title announced or anything. You can get in right at the beginning, start Legendborn, it's such a good series. Uh, it's probably a better read for fall or winter actually, but start it. It's good, it's good all year round. I want more people to read it. I need this book to get the hype it deserves, and I need the wiki to be properly updated because it is not descriptive enough yet and it deserves a fully fleshed out wiki. Question number five is, it's almost time to start reading outside. Have you been brave enough yet? And my answer is no, it doesn't matter how nice it is outside. I'm not gonna read outside. Um, one of the main reasons is that I'm allergic to grass, so if anyone mows their lawn anywhere near me, my eyes are going to get all dry and itchy. Um, there's also bugs outside, and the sun is really hot. 
Uh, I prefer colder temperatures, so I'm, I'm already pretty uncomfortable and it's just spring. We've just had our first couple of warm days here and I, I'm not loving it. So I'm not gonna read outside. It doesn't matter how nice it is. Maybe if I was like on a beach vacation somewhere, I would read a little bit outside, but then I'd be worried about my book getting dirty. I'm very firmly an inside reader, regardless of the weather. Question number six is, it's time for spring cleaning. What books are you going to unhaul? So I'm actually gonna do a pretty massive unhaul when I move to my new sort of area. I'm gonna set up my new bookshelves and I'm gonna unhaul all the books that I have that I'm not gonna reread, that I don't love. And there's so many that are gonna go. Um, the Throne of Glass series I really didn't care for and I don't have a matching set for, so they don't look nice on my shelves. That's gotta go. The Lunar Chronicles, because I don't have a matching set, I'm gonna unhaul it, even though I enjoyed it. Um, the Name of the Wind, I'm unhauling that book and its sequel because they don't match. And I really want the collector's edition of Name of the Wind instead, so I'm gonna swap those out. Um, there's so many contemporary books that I'm just gonna get rid of, so many different series that I didn't love. I'm gonna do a huge video listing all the books that I'm unhauling. It's gonna be over a hundred, and that's gonna be really fun to film, but right now I just I can't think of all of them but there's so many that I've got to get rid of so that I have more space for new books. Which leads into question seven. Follow up, what books are you gonna replace them with? So I already sort of covered this. I'm getting the new collector's edition of Name of the Wind to replace Name of the Wind. I would like them to come out with a collector's edition of The Wise Man's Fear so that I can have a nice set of those because I adore those books. For the rest of them, I might get a new series of the Lunar Chronicles, especially if they bring out a collector's edition or something like that because I do like the series. I just don't have a set that I like. And other than that, pretty much just new books. I get Owlcrate books every month. I get books on birthdays and holidays. I like to do at least one big haul a year. Um, so I'm gonna keep replacing them with new books and I'll keep trying to do an unhaul every year and cycle out the books that I don't love anymore. And that is it. So again, thank you so much to Rayanne and Taylor for tagging me in my very first tagged tag video. I'm going to do other tag videos even if I'm not tagged in them because I think they're so fun, but I was really touched that I was tagged to do this even though I'm still new and small. So thank you guys so much. Thank you all for watching. I really enjoyed doing this tag. It was quick, it was fun, it was easy to film, and you know spring is kind of coming to an end so I had to get it done sooner rather than later. I hope you all have a great weekend. Please don't forget to like and subscribe down below, and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.